you have a patient who's in a job that demands that the intellect should be intact. These, these people um, have high IQs to begin with. They come along, they undergo neuropsychological testing, and the results show that their scores are within the normative range. So by definition, they're not cognitively impaired. So you give them the good news, and then they say, well, why can't I do my job? And their job demands that the intellect should be intact. And what seems to be happening is that this little slip from your high pre-morbid levels of intellect to where you are now is enough to push you over the edge and render you dysfunctional in terms of managing a job that's intellectually very demanding. It's a huge adjustment for the person with MS to readjust themselves in the way they think, the way they learn, the way they work, the way they study, you know, once they develop even one small cognitive impairment. So there's a growing body of evidence and work that is being done that demonstrates that even if a person with MS has a cognitive problem, there is uh, hope for that person and there are methods being developed that can help to remediate them.